Yes, hello, this is another uh, Pursuing God's Heart. And uh, I'm kind of, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm, I'm doing a random order in terms of the books, uh, not going straight through, partly because I, I don't want people to feel like uh, they've kind of got left behind uh, and so therefore they should give up or something like that. Read it in whatever order you like. I just want to encourage you uh, as you're doing that. Uh, so, Book of Galatians. Um, these verses, you, you know when you, you kind of have a passage that has meant so much and has been so significant you can't help but notice it so I was uh, noticing this one start of chapter three uh, oh foolish Galatians who has bewitched you it was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified let me ask you only this did you receive the spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith are you so foolish having begun by the spirit are you now being perfected by the flesh it's a a fascinating little trio of verses there um, because Paul's really quite strong with them isn't he you, you know who's bewitched you who's cast a spell on you and he's calling them foolish a couple of times basically what what the issue is here uh, I think is incredibly relevant for us especially at a time where um, we're locked down we're stuck at home maybe uh, you're thinking this is a great time to to kind of dive into Bible reading, to, to listening to podcasts, to, to doing, you know, spending time in prayer, all these things that are good things to do. But Paul here is talking to the Galatians and he's saying to them, look, remember what I did. When I, when I came to you, my ministry basically placarded Christ. It's like he, with words, pa painted this massive billboard of Christ crucified. And he's saying that that was my ministry. I offered you Christ crucified. And so how then did you get saved, basically? How did you receive the Spirit? Was it by your diligent effort, uh, you know, to keep the law? Or was it hearing with faith? The answer is obviously hearing with faith. He says, OK, so having begun by the Spirit, that is having begun by responding to what the Spirit uh, has done through that proclamation of Christ crucified, having begun by that, are you now being perfected by the flesh? So in their case, he was saying, hey, come on, guys, you, you think that you can get saved by faith, but then to grow, it's, it's down to your effort in law-keeping obedience? Makes no sense. It, it's by faith from first to last, like he says in Romans. There's a, a consistency of, uh, of how we get in is how we get on as a Christian. And I'm just thinking about that in the context where we are right now. Uh, please don't don't let this opportunity to enjoy time with God, to fix the gaze of your heart on the one who loved you and died for you, to spend time in prayer in his presence, to spend time reading the Bible, pursuing God's heart. Don't allow that to get corrupted by your fleshly and my fleshly, our fleshly tendency to think it's down to me to exercise my way. You know, because so easily we can go from, like it says in 2.20, the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It's so easy to go from, I'm, I'm looking at you, Lord, I'm focused on you, Jesus, I'm enjoying you, Lord, to I'm looking at me, I must try harder, I must read more, oh dear, I didn't pray enough. And, and before we know it, we can compromise uh, the very nature of the relationship that we have. And so... I hope that's helpful. Just as you're pursuing God's heart, recognize that you're going to you're going to enjoy God's heart more by fixing your gaze on him rather than letting your gaze drift back onto yourself so that somehow it becomes about, you know, your diligent effort to grow spiritually. By all means, exercise, work out, stay fit. And in that regard, you probably do need to uh, think in terms of discipline. But in terms of your relationship with Jesus. It's not about discipline. It's not about your effort. It's about enjoying him, fixing your gaze on him. Paul said, I, I, it was before your very eyes that Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. But that's what the Bible's doing for us. It's lifting Jesus up before us. Let's fix our eyes on him and enjoy him and continue to grow towards maturity, to continue to grow spiritually. Okay, that's a bit longer than I was intending, but Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.